All right, so yesterday we talked about drills themselves, the bits, right? We've got two flutes running from that center point that's in the dead center. And there's the cutting edge that cuts through when it rotates in a clockwise direction, right? So we talked about different bits. Today we're going to talk about drill bit sizes. All right, they're measured in four ways. But the one important thing to understand is that they're all measured in, oh, come on, no, I'll zoom out. They're all measured in diameter, right? Diameter is the whole way across the circle from one edge to the other. This is radius. It's not measured in radius, it's measured in diameter. All right, that goes for all drill bits. They're measured in four ways. There's numbers, letters, inches and fractions, and then also metric. To start with the small ones, they're numbered, all right? It runs from number 80 to number one. That's 0 0.0135 inches to point zero <laughs> to, to point two two eight zero inches, all right? These are the smallest drill bits you can get. Number 80 is smaller than number one. This works just like a sheet metal gauge or a wire gauge uh, index. The bigger the number, the smaller the drill bit. After you get through the numbered drill bits, you get to the lettered drill bits. Now this runs from A to Z. Now A is smaller than Z in this case. A is 0.234 and Z here is 0.413. So it goes from 80 to one, and then A to Z in increasing drill bit size. Next, this is the one that everyone's familiar with. This is the most popular and most common, especially for at home and hobbyists and everything. If I were to just buy this pack, it's labeled eighth of an inch, three sixteenths, quarter of an inch, five sixteenths, etc., and so on and so forth. This runs from 1 64th, and in the book, it's up to three and a half inches. You're not going to be using a drill bit bigger than three and a half. Um, usually when you get up to that size, you use something called a hole saw, which is like a bigger drill bit, but it's, it's a saw that rotates and cuts. For our purposes, we're not even gonna worry about that. Here we use fractions of an inch for our drill bits. This is definitely the most common. If you were to look on any drill bits, let's see if I can get this one in focus. It says 9 64ths, right? So this is a 9 64ths drill bit. Inches and fractions. And then one of the more important ones for our international friends, metric, all right? We can't forget about metrics. Sometimes we want to work with international um, threads, so we have to use metric size drill bits. Here we're running from 3 mil all the way up to uh, 76 millimeter. One conversion that's good to remember is one inch is equal to 25.4 millimeters approximately it's close enough it'll get you there so that's one inch is 2.54 centimeters but 25.4 millimeters metric all right there's when we talk about drill bits we just flipped right through them it's hard to kind of imagine them all next to each other in the book, there's a chart. And also, I put this in the link underneath and I'll put it in the classroom as well. You get sometimes a equivalency chart. It's a fraction and decimal equivalency chart. You're not gonna see everything perfectly on here, but I'll, I'll explain it a little bit. Like I said, numbered bits are the smallest runs from 80 to 1 so here we have a number 80 that's 0 0.1 0 0.0135 right here and these numbers 80 79 78 77 76 run all the way down and picks right back up over here so now we've got 10 through one, all right? So that's the numbered section. 
that runs to there. It runs from here all the way down to there. Now we can see that in the middle of the numbers, we get some fractions of an inch. So 1 64th, 1 32nd, 3 64th, this is all working its way down. In this case, 1 64th is in between a 79 and a 78. We don't need to make a 78 and a half because the 1 64th covers that. When you think about how small 1 64th is, we're all familiar with a, a normal inch and a, on a ruler. Uh, let's get the light so it's not... This only goes down to a 16th of an inch. So imagine 1 16th divided into four more sections, right? Divided in half, and then divided in half again. That's a 64th of an inch. It's a very small amount. So number 80 gets even smaller than that. <clears throat> so that's numbers, and you can compare it to fractions and inches, right? When we get through the numbered, we get to letters. So A through Z. A through Z, these are like uh, these are bigger than all the numbered ones. These are start at 0.234 and then run down to 0.413. So it's almost a quarter of an inch to almost a half an inch, roughly. I mean, here we're obviously a lot more precise, but just to give you a frame of reference. So that's our lettered section. Again, there's still fractions right here. And the entire way down for everything, there's the decimal equivalents. All right. So it gives you the decimal and the fractions. Also over here, this is the metrics section. All right. This is mainly for how to, uh, to tap a hole to put threads inside for a bolt. But that's still right there as well. All right. So this is going to be... This is the same idea. Oh, come on. Yep. This is the same idea as the one that's in the book. On both pages. But it's just uh, designed a little bit differently. And this is one that we have up in the shop. And it'll be attached as a PDF form on a classroom and in the description. So that's drill bit sizes. All right. If you have any questions, feel free to email me. Uh, that's a pretty quick... Oh, um, oh, one other thing. Yeah, let me just cover this. So, these have numbers written into them. Like I showed this one before. This is 964th. This one's... 730 seconds, right? 730 seconds right there. But as these go into a drill bit, a drill, no, as they go into a drill chuck to hold onto them, eventually that wears off and you can't tell exactly what size it is. I don't have one of these at home so I can't show you, but at school we have these drill gauges. So you just imagine putting the bit through those holes and whenever it fits up nicely, that's the size it is. Also, you can use a pair of calipers. So here I would measure the shank because you can't, it's hard to measure on the flutes, right? It might give you an accurate reading. So here I'm just gonna measure on the shank, shank. Um, switch back to inches, 0 0.152 inches. Now what's 0 0.152 inches? That's when I can look at the chart. 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.4, 0 0.5, 0 0.5, it's a size 24, and it's close enough this is to 964 to 5 uh, 30 second. Since we stand, uh, usually use the 64ths or fractions of an inch, you pay for the accuracy of a size 40 or a size, what was it, size 24. All right. This is labeled as and sold as a 5 30 second. So 24 is close enough to 532nd where it works just like that. All right, so hopefully this answers everything. Uh, remember, the homework is due well, tonight at this point. Make sure you get that in. All right, any questions, feel free to email me.